Hello all, Seriously Lee's here, back some more gun fishing. Today, I don't think we're gonna do any actual line casting. We're not gonna put anything in there. We are gonna start here at this base because I'm finally done with this base. Let's go over the fish. Here's the new layout for the legendary and rare fish. And where'd it go? There it is. This one took forever, and I went to some shallow water to catch it. Abyssal horror egg. It's pretty unique in that I don't think any other fish in the entire catalog has that silhouette because I mean it's just it's just uh, what should I call it? Is the freighter in orbit here? It is. It's one. Uh, it's one of these things. It's a hadal core. It's the exact same image. And obviously that's not a fish. So. <laughs> Uh, I don't think any of the other planets have a fish. Now, we do also have a, go, a place to go fish that we haven't fished yet, and we should talk about that. Uh, my bases, there we go. Uh, I've set this base up. We've got two ends to fish at for deep water and shallow water and everywhere in between, which is actually a little bit more helpful than I thought because large fish are less common in the deepest water. That's where you get the colossal fish. So the deeper the water, the bigger the fish generally is how it's been working, even for the legendary fish. And let's go into the menu and look at that right now in the wonders. So fishing records, let's go back down to the end. After the flotsam we have, or before the flotsam, we have all of the exotic fish. So a colossal one, a large one, a medium-sized one, a small one, and etc. So uh, they do have sizes, and size does seem to determine where they're found uh, generally, but you can catch any size in any depth. It's just a little bit faster, and this one took me forever until I found a spot that was pretty shallow over here, uh, and I guess we can go to that. We got time. We'll do a quick base tour. You can see it from here. Uh, I added a couple of these in here because if you're running, you just run straight out the edge. <laughs> the others the others don't have any guards here. Uh, but I found a spot that's under 20. You just got to go over to this window here and fish out over that way. 15 units. Uh, we didn't use a lure yet, so let's just back out of that. I've caught everything here. We don't need to do anything there. I had to build that thing sticking all the way out into the water like that, uh, because otherwise the teleporter just didn't reach. It's 200 units maximum. Uh, you can do like a bridge with a teleporter in between, but that doesn't always work because sometimes they don't load up. So we could leave from here by a portal to go desert fishing, because that one's set up. Let's go back to the catalog guide, actually. However, uh, I've been making a mistake. Whoops, whoopsie. Uh, I was half right. I said there's no such thing as swamp specific fish or, or, or words to that effect. That's true. Uh, swamp fish share a category with, I thought because temperate and humid fish share one, that it would be with the temperate lush world fish. Uh, where are those guys? Uh, uh, lush, humid, and temperate environments. I thought humid would cover the swamps. No, no. Swamp worlds are toxic planets, and they share the same fish as toxic worlds, so we can find a swamp or a fungal toxic world. Similarly, we can find a scorched world, a hot planet, or we can find a volcano planet. So I think that's what we're going to do today is go searching for some more spots to put bases at and if we find them let's find some spots to fish at on those planets but we're going to use the freighter for that sploosh though I think my starship might be able to warp farther than my freighter. Mm, no. It's, it's pretty good range, but still. I want to use our scanner, and it's a little bit choppy up here, sorry. That's why we're doing uh, the Pursuing Paradise save on one of my newer saves, where I don't have an insanely big 
two or three thousand part freighter base sitting behind the bridge. All right, so let's go looking for stuff, and let's just go. Well, we can go two thousand light years at least. So let's try over here somewhere. We're looking for water, and we're looking for a decent number of planets. So let's go here. Ah, there's two moons there. New. How about here? There's water and four circles. Yeah, that's the exact same number of planets. Whatever. So we're looking for... Oh, you know what? I've got another idea. If we're going to go look for a volcano world, that'll be easy to narrow down. Now, will it have water? Yeah. <laughs> that might not be so easy to narrow down. But while we're here, let's go check these four planets. Uh, we have a rainy planet with water. We have... Pirate. There's... a oh, no. That's a desert. That's a desert planet with water. I've got one of them already. Paradise planet with no water. That's interesting. Oops. Ah. <laughs> I'll come back and look at that later. We're not here for that today. So what we're going to do is go back to the cataloging guide. And instead of wonders, we're going to go to materials, exotic, basalt. And for me, at the bottom there, it says locate substance, left click. So let's left click it. Let's go to the freighter warp map. And we should have, I see a blue line pointing up. If we just, whoops, not that button. That button, it's purple. Oh, that's a black hole. Galactic center, free explore. What did it say when I did that? Locate basalt. Shouldn't it have pointed me towards somewhere where there's basalt? Okay, well, I thought that would work. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it a log thing? Look at basalt. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. I guess we're just going to keep warping then. That's the upgrade control. That's annoying. So, hopefully, what we're going to find is a planet. Uh, doesn't matter if we have a filter. Stars are very oddly colored. Like, why is this yellow? No filter. Yeah, see, that's a red set. Ooh, yeah, that was a weird filter on the colors. Okay. Like, there's nowhere where it's pointing me, right? No, just to that black hole. I mean, you know, it says there's water there. There's some planets there. Let's go check it out. It's where it wants me to go visit. We could go through the black hole, too. With our starship, at least. So other types of fish we need are gamma and frozen. So the ideal star system would have a swamp, a volcano, a frozen, and a gamma, all with water. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you, buddy. What are you even doing up here? I said no. Planetary probe, sir. Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, frozen one, activated copper, not super ideal. We want storms, just not constant permanent storms. And we have a hot planet. Uh, doesn't say water creatures and it doesn't look like there's water. So let's keep moving on. Come on, choppy old freighter. I, unfortunately, I think I have to delete the freighter base on this one. It, it didn't used to be choppy. But they've made some improvements to some of the pieces, and that... Oh, we need hyperdrive fuel. Yeah, that's made uh, this big of a base just too big for the game. Where is it? There we go. Technology oh yeah, 
no, I don't need life form. We're just looking for water with lots of planets. That's a good bet. I suppose we could also head to, because we're, I think we're in Isentan. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the galaxy we're in on this save. I'm pretty sure it's Isentan. So we could head to non-yellow stars to increase our chance of not getting lush planets and maybe increase our chance of volcanoes. But that will also increase our chance of abandoned planets, like uh, dead planets with no gravity, flourishing with water, rainy with water, hot with water, and gamma with no water. Region. Yeah, not the region I'm looking for. If that was a volcano with water, that would be one thing. Sort of want to do that again, actually. Maybe we were just too far away from anywhere for it to locate it. In the galaxy map, search for basalt bridge systems. Access the galaxy map while in the starship. Okay. Current mission. There we go. Now it's working. Excellent. And someone with that symbol on it. It says there's water here. There's a lot of planets here. Let's cross our fingers. I thought that should work. I guess we were just out of range. Or there was technically basalt in the system we were in. Probably as a secondary element on a rock. And that must have counted. Because it was telling me to scan rocks on the mission log. So we were either too far or too close to basalt previously. Mission abandoned, locate basalt. I didn't abandon that. <laughs> but I think because I got here, ooh, I don't see a lot of water. Uh, that's the one, that's a volcano planet with water. Perfect. Paradise planet, acrid, ooh, uh, that is a fungal mole planet. Doesn't look like it has water though. No. Yeah, ooh, two paradise planets. All right, well, we get to go take a look at some paradise planets today. Very green background space color. But let's go see what this volcanic planet has. Now, we could maybe pull the same trick for Facium and search for, or Mordite and search for a swamp world, maybe. But I'm feeling like it's gonna tell us to. That's neat, blue sky with an orange haze. I feel like it's gonna tell us to feed or kill creatures if we search for either of those, unfortunately. All right, there's the fungal, there's the other paradise. That's where we need to go. No, that's the desert. We need to go behind this guy. So let's go take a look through the atmosphere. Uh, no floating islands or anything. Got some green trees, orange or brown patches on the ground. Ooh, I like that sky quite a bit. Very nice and blue, we got a rainbow over there. Very nice, very nice. But we're not here for that. We're here for a ugly volcano. Where's our volcano? Ooh, lots of water. That looks good. I like the teal water and dark black ground. Sort of what you expect on a volcanic world. I wonder what color the volcanoes are. That's also semi-important to me, but we're not gonna be probably fishing near any volcanoes. The sky color seems to be the purple gray that volcanoes get. Let's go to this coast right here. It's daytime. We got yellow volcanoes. Not my favorite. That's fine.
So, it's preposterously hard to tell, except for shallow. This is obviously shallow water right beneath us right now. But how deep is this? My guess is 56 units deep right beneath. I, I can't. It's hard to tell. Is it 70? Is it 80? Is it 50? I can never tell. Only shallow water is easy to tell. So that right behind us. Whoa! We could go into it, but if you don't want to dive all the way down to measure it, you got to pull out that fishing rod, do a cast while the temperature is still showing. 89! See? See? How... <laughs> I can't measure this at all, at all. So we just happened to land at a perfect fishing spot on this volcanic planet. So we're gonna catch a fish here. I have bionic lure on. Come on, take a bite. There we go. So we caught uh, high temperature, scorched world, medium size. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that I have the resources to build one of them, or one on me, perfect. Let's dive down here. Ooh, neat features. Let's find that 90U spot I was at. Anywhere deeper than where we are? I guess right here. Yeah, right about here is about as deep as this area seems to get. It's good enough. 88 is deeper than most of my saves have gotten for deep, so we're going to place this right here. Boom. And if we want to build a base, we could put a base computer down here too, but why would we put it down here and then have to swim all the way up every time we want to do an upload or a download, or even if we want... Ooh, hey, look at that. That's almost a whale. Looks like a beluga. We got a cow in, in the ocean, because of, of course, it's definitely where a four-legged hooved animal belongs. They'll fix that one day and I'll be sad. I shouldn't make fun of it. Because, <laughs> you know, sea cows. <laughs> They're so ridiculous. That's neat, seeing the volcanoes through the water. I sort of like this spot. So we will have some volcanoes in the distance. That's fantastic. Perfect. Well, no one not on a hot world. Uh, so as I was saying, why would we put our base computer down there when we can just put it right here on the surface of the water? No, you can't. Well, yes, I, yes, I can. I'm just going to hit that button there that says toggle free placement V. And then I'm um, going to pop it right in the air right there. And then I'm going to stand on it to talk to it. Uh, I'm going to try to stand on it to talk to it. Oh, rocket boots. See, see, see. All right. That's when you don't want rocket boots, KJ. You're right. <laughs> but we don't need to actually stand on it. I can, I can talk to it from here. Yeah, point base. All right, so we've got our volcano base down. What we don't have is a way to get from here to anywhere else except by going back up to our freighter, which we're going to do because we're still looking for a swamp world today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build camera. I'm going to build, uh, you know, I guess metal makes the most sense for a volcano world uh, or stone. I like the look of stone a lot better than metal. So I'm going to put this, oh, it doesn't matter where, right there. And then we're going to toggle free placement back off build that. Very, very simple. Actually, if I want to get super duper fancy, let's see, where's that? Right there. We can get fancy later. I just want to get out of here for now. So, we're going to go like that. I need two nanotubers. Uh, I also sort of want a landing pad. So I'm going to need two more of those and two of those. Let's put this in. Let's put in a battery and some solar panels while the sun is up. There we go. 
go. That's the important stuff. This is all we need. We could even probably upload this base, but you know what? Because there's probably storms here, uh, we're going to go one extra step. Put up walls. And roof pieces. Yeah, the metal corner one is fine. Uh, let's go into camera mode. It's just going to be easier. There we go. So if there's a storm here, we will be sheltered. And we'll change the name. To Lava Fish. And we can upload the base. There we go. Now we can take this straight back to the freighter in orbit. Might be technically slightly faster. Alright, so let's try that thing that I suggested. Search for Mordite or we can search for Facium. Because as a resource, uh, it might find it that way. So catalog and guide. Materials is probably on. Facium is right there. Well produced by well-fed life forms. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, let's go back to exotic and look for Mordite. <sighs> Begin harvesting creatures. All right, well, we can't find them that way, so we just got to keep searching the slow way. Um, discoveries is where I would want to be when we get to that system. There we go. So let's keep searching the slow way. Right, right, right here. There's water. There's six planets. Or five in the moon. There was a lot of rings. And you know, I'm thinking of saving us some time by making a quick building adjustment so I don't have to wander quite as far into stuttery, jittery, super builded freighter. Six planets, excellent. Okay, so if we go into build, can I build? Uh, no, not there. This room. Scanner room. Can we build multiples? Yes, we can, okay. So I've got some decals on the wall here, but you know what? Too bad, let's get rid of that room. Put a scanner room in right there. It does not have the same floors, so there's going to be some doorway there, but that's okay. Now we don't have to go upstairs through a teleporter and back. Ooh, ooh, we do need a frozen planet, and purple water sounds cool. Star bulb, we already have. Frozen planet with water again there. Star bulb, star bulb. Two frozen planets. Touche, Zuche. Okay, so this is a good place. Uh, was there a space station here? Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's go visit the space station real quick so that gets on my list. I'm not gonna go build a frozen base here. I'm still looking for, I mean, to be honest, frozen planets are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. Everywhere you go, you're gonna find a frozen planet, pretty much. Ooh, somebody, someone around here has a chromatic filter. That's interesting. Uh, but purple water on a frozen planet. That might look cool. I'm gonna come check this one out when we go build a frozen fishing base. I mean, that, that just sounds funny all by itself. We're going to fish for frozen fish. Just buy them at the supermarket. All right, so we've hopped out of our ship on Suche Station. That's all we needed. Back we go. Worm-ridden planet, Kitho. Pink water, green skies, chromatic filter. I'm super, super curious, so let's go. That blue grass is also my favorite color of blue grass, but I suspect that the filter is gonna mess it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got like a black, oh, oh a sepia tone filter. Inter oh, the oil color filter, yeah. I do like this filter, but it does ruin that grass color. All right, shame.
All right, don't crash into the freighter. Thank you. Loud, because I'm right beside it. Yeah, a little bit loud. All right, so frozen, I got on lock. Got to remember that one. So we just need gamma and fungal, really. Uh, but we're trying to find a swamp. Now, that's another thing. We could very, very easily find a fungal world by searching for those minerals. Um, ammonia, for example. Huh, that's also possible, but it's probably going to only find fungal planets for us, unfortunately. Yeah, we could search for the gases that are only found on fungal planets. But I think fungal and frozen planets share the gas, or fungal and it's something weird. It's not, well, maybe swamps. I don't know, I've never, I have not farmed for those gases in literally years, thanks to frigate missions. All right, uh, there's a gamma, gamma with water. Paradise brown grass, maybe. Par well, not paradise, but humid. Gamma with no water. Volcanic with no water. Humid. That could have been, but no. Star bulb means it's not. <sighs> and there is no flower on swamp planets, cause, so we can't search for the flower. Because we could have searched for star bulb to find a uh, lush world, but we can't search for that. Uh, not for dough. All right, well, let's go take a peek at the space station. You know, Gamma Worlds are actually a dime a dozen, too. Let's not. Let's move on. Let's keep searching. I want to find this swamp. How hard is it to find a swamp? It's usually very easy to find a swamp. Got water there. We got... It looks like only four planets. Maybe a moon, but moons don't matter because they don't got no water. We're looking for fishing spots, so we need water. <laughs> yeah, just the four planets, that's fine. A lot easier to go over them in this list here. No water, desert, paradise, desert, move on. See? there's water here. It says there's water here. There's only two planets, of course. Two planets. There we go. There's two moons, but I think there's four planets. I think four is the odds we want to search for. Of course, we'll end up with two moons that are swamps. <sighs> Okay, four planets, two moons. We have a frozen paradise. We have fungal without water. Okay, we don't need to look at the moons. Just to be upset. They didn't, they didn't look like swamps anyway. One was blue, might have been a swamp. Probably a paradise planet. Got water down here and five rings, I think. So we'll see what we got here. We at least found a place to build a base, which is great, uh, on a volcano, which is cool. That uh, gets the hot and volcanic fish out of the way. And my guess is that if they ever change it to add specific swamp and specific volcano fish, that having a base on the swamp or the volcano planet is the best bet because um, they're probably going to add volcano fish. And if we catch all of the fish and they count as hot fish, we'll have those already. So we won't have to do it all over again for both. Uh, yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing here. Nice, nice name, Layla. Breaking my heart. Uh, but 
that's it for today. We're going to come back on Friday and do some actual fishing, both at the desert maybe and at the other one, if I've got a base built at that one yet, the uh, volcano one. We'll see about that. We'll see how it goes. But until next time, have a good time.